Hey, hi there you guys, Cancer. Welcome to your general forecast. Crosswatcher energies are interchangeable, but only take those portions that are resonating with you. And remember to check out your moon and rising and Venus sign videos for a more complete picture. My readings, they do meld together. And I want to thank you guys, Cancer, for supporting my channel. The likes and the subscribes and the comments and those donations, thank you so very much. It really helps me out a lot. Today you're going to get five cards from the Rider Waite deck and two cards from the Hidden Truth Oracle. And now here's your first card. It's the general atmosphere. It's the background and the basis of the matter. Cancer, this is one of your cards. Number four of cups, water energy. This is moon in Cancer. This is a card of rejection, dissatisfaction, feeling discontent. Someone may feel some moodiness and they're waiting for the right opportunity for something new. It's resting and withdrawing. You do have options. There's that offer and you're contemplating joy. It's feeling flat and uninspired, self-absorbed, going within you could be tired of a situation or fed up. This could be a voluntary withdrawal, like taking time out to contemplate and meditate on your emotions. Maybe you're not interested, but you're not doing too much to change what's going on. Life seems dull and meaningless, so you'll need to wait for your mood to rise. rise. Maybe you're feeling left out or not enjoying company, ruminating, overanalyzing. Your second card, and this is the energy that's crossing over your path. These are your subconscious influences, Cancer. The Ace of Wands, Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Well, here's what you've been waiting for, something new. But in this position, these energies are restricted. It's bringing in a challenge to get there. It can be a premature start. It's not the time to fire things up. There could be a lack of potential or a lack of an opportunity. It can be cooled passions. The Four of Cups with the Ace of Wands is searching for something new. It can be a new career direction and you do know what to do. Your third card. This is how it affects you. These are the external influences that you're consciously aware of, Cancer. The Nine of Swords, Air Energy. This is Mars in Gemini. This is a card of overthinking and worrying. It's an unfounded anxiety, fear, insomnia, low energy, and a need to be patient. Someone's feeling apprehensive, fretful. They could be dreading, obsessing. This could be someone having trouble sleeping or they wake up at night and they can't get back to sleep because of all the thoughts that race through their mind. They may be overly fearful about the future. Someone may be feeling ill or worried about their health. Remember that worrying is pointless unless it drives you to take action. So confront your worries and your fears and take steps to solve those problems. Talk to someone, write in a journal, see a doctor. This is the absolute need to talk about the problems that we bury. These worries that hang over our heads that maybe have stacked up and piled up on each other. The Four of Cups with the Nine of Swords is being consumed with negative thoughts. Could also be rejecting or refusing the nightmare. Your fourth card. The card of the future. The outcome. The results. And the advice. Cancer, you've got the Knight of Pentacles. Earth Energy. Taurus. Virgo. Capricorn. This can be a Virgo. This is... 
someone that is on a mission. They do their du duty. They could be bringing good news or a communication. They go with the flow. It's, they're poised on the edge. This is someone who is attractive and they have their stuff together, their self. They take care of themselves and they are financially comfortable. They are being more focused on getting things done. They're unhurried and productive, purposeful, reliable. They can be stubborn. So you would benefit by going into nature and focusing on your nutrition. This can be a particular goal that goes from low priority to high priority. This is maintaining a dynamic balance and that takes constant practice and work. The Four of Cups with the Knight of Pentacles is romantic contemplation. Someone may not be interested right now in any romantic conquests. Your fifth card. It's the bottom of the deck card. The underlying issue. This is what's unseen. It's unseen because it's something that you're not sharing with others, yet you are consciously aware of this cancer. Number nine of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck. The Hermit. This card is ruled by Mercury. This could be a Virgo. Virgo could be in your chart or someone else's that you're dealing with. This is slow moving. This is someone being alone and private and serious, studious. They're unhurried. They're up in their head. They're an old soul seeking meaning. They're digging deeper, seeking answers, soul searching, researching, investigating. There's the need for patience. And it's a time to work things out quietly. It's turning away from people towards self-examination. This can be solitude and study. This person may feel like an outsider. They may be doing things like slowing down or distancing themselves from others physically or psychologically. They can also be mentoring or guiding others. And there is a light at the end of the tunnel. The Four of Cups with the Hermit card is someone that's lost interest in the outside world. There's meditation. It can also be someone writing, bookkeeping, editing. The Ace of Wands with the Nine of Swords is a new beginning. And it may be causing stress. The Ace of Wands with the Knight of Pentacles is a new and exciting, tangible offer. It could be a, a new, exciting job offer. The Ace of Wands with the Hermit card is a passionate new beginning, investigating, researching, new age. The Nine of Swords with the Knight of Cups is worries over stability and a dedication that may seem hopeless. The Nine of Swords with the Hermit card is isolation due to anxiety. There's loneliness. This overthinking can be detrimental. The Knight of Pentacles with the Hermit card, these are both Virgo cards. This reinforces the slowness. This can also be continued education and thinking things through because you refuse to take risks. And it's finding the money for this extra education. Here's your Hidden Truth Oracle. Here's your first card. The Hidden Truth is, I love you, Cancer. I love you. That's beautiful. Your second card from the Hidden Truth. So many things remind me of you. So many things remind me of you. Thanks, you guys, Cancer. I hope you stay tuned in and leave me a comment or a thumbs up, and please subscribe. Now remember, what goes around comes around, so I'm sending you guys out love and light and blessings. Thanks for watching.